Hey guys, in our last video we looked at if statements and if else statements, uh, also uh, multiple if statements uh, in JavaScript. Now if statements are really useful when there's not a lot of uh, con uh, conditions to evaluate. However, if there is, uh, things get really long and complicated if we use an if statement. For example, let's create a variable uh, called paint which has a value of red. So basically this is uh, a red paint. Okay, now let's use, assuming that we don't know the color of our paint, we want to use the if statement to uh, see or evaluate the our paint variable variable to see what color is. So let's say if uh, paint equals blue. I don't know. Do this. <coughs> Excuse me. Else if uh, paint equals red. Do that. Else if paint equals, I don't know, yellow, do that, else if uh, paint equals green, do that, and so on. <coughs> now, uh, at the, the moment, in order so that I don't waste too much time writing boring uh, code, uh, only said blue, red, yellow, and green as the options. But if there's loads of different other options, like orange, uh, turquoise, black, white, uh, purple, and so on, it's going to be a really dull, boring, and a long task to write an if statement for each one. Because uh, you have to write a condition for each one, and uh, each sentence is relatively uh, long. And basically, the if statement isn't the most efficient way to do that when we have loads of <coughs> things to compare. Now, uh, there's another type of a conditional statement which we can use instead of this in these cases, where it's much uh, more efficient than the if statement, called the switch statement. Now, before I talk any more about the switch statement or try to explain how it works, I'll show you or write quickly the structure of the switch statement so that it's much more easier to explain. It's basically really straightforward and simple. So first we write a switch and then we write a, cur a brackets and a curly brackets. Now just like our if statements, similar to our if statements, we're going to write something inside the curly brackets. However, everything inside this curly brackets is going to be all the uh, stuff we are going to evaluate. Now, in here, we have uh, an expression which most of the time is going to be a variable such as paint that is going to be evaluated once. So let's say paint when we want to evaluate paint. Now over here, what we're going to type is various cases, okay? Uh, each case is going to be a different case. For example, we have a case of red and a case of blue. So uh, a case where the paint could be blue or the paint could be red. And if that is true, when we compare it to our evaluated expression, it's going to output that specific uh, code written underneath, if that is true. Okay, so let's start writing our cases. So let's write case and then uh, I don't know, blue. And after that, we are going to type a colon and we could type stuff here or here. I'm just going to type it underneath and indent it once so that it's actually uh, easier and a bit neater to see. So we, over here, if case is blue, uh, code here, okay? And then over here, let's write case red. And there's going to be another code here, which is diff which could be different, or normally is different to the one above. And let's have case uh, green, again with the colon, and code here, and let's have another one, uh, orange, code here. Now let's start writing the codes. I could write document dot uh, write. 
this uh, the paint is blue and let's copy this so that I don't have to write it three more times one two three and change the color red here green here and orange here okay now at actually no that looks better there we go <clears throat> now this uh, switch statement here is almost complete but there's two things missing now uh, in this case our variable paint has a value of red so when we compare our uh, evaluated expression paint with a uh, case blue it's false so it's not going to output this uh, document or or what do you call it it's not going to output the paint is blue now when the case when it goes to the next case red it's going to evaluate and say oh it's true the paint equals red so it's going to uh, say in my browser the paint is red now uh, normally we are done with that because our paint we know that our paint is red however the uh, program not program but the uh, statement will actually go on and go down again and evaluate each and every case even if we've already found one so what we should do after each case is, is write a statement called break now what this does is say if the uh, what the break break does is it stops uh, the code from running into the next case automatically okay so if for example the paint was blue it's going to output the paint is blue and it's going to break so it won't evaluate the, anything below that anymore so let's write a break in all of them oops uh, typos the reason why we are doing this is so that we don't put uh what's the good word pressure if that's the correct way of saying it onto our website because it's unnecessary for the statement to evaluate all the uh, other cases when we've already found one so it doesn't put any unnecessary uh, pressure onto our website which will increase the load time and slow down our website altogether if there's like thousands of people accessing it and using the switch statement okay so that's the break and the last thing that we have yet to uh, add is a, called a default now the default is uh, <coughs> sorry is when there's no match in our cases so for example if this color was black oops it, the statement will evaluate the case blue red green and orange and it will say there's no uh, match in our what do you call it statement so what we need is a case called default okay what this does is the default out uh, the code underneath the default will run if there's no match so what we could write is say document actually yeah document dot write uh, we don't know we do not know the color of the paint okay so let's turn this back to red save our work and refresh it will say the oh I refresh it will say the paint is red let's change this to orange and it will say the paint is orange now if I change this to another color or some random text say I don't know purple it will say we do not know the color of the paint because there is no match in any of the cases inside the statement so the default uh, code was loaded okay so that was a uh, relative was it a quick video that was an okay video 10 minute video uh, explaining 
about the switch statement what switch statement does is you insert something normally a variable that you want it to be evaluated and rewrite case for each of them and rewrite the code that you want to be executed if that case a uh, particular case is true and we can have as many cases we like depending on how many things you want to compare and make sure that you have the break so that the it doesn't waste time evaluating all the cases once we found one and have the default default so that if we can't find any uh, matches the statement can output a default uh, text in this case or yeah we do not know the color of the paint so thanks for watching and i'll see you later